М1 Global presents. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств, представляем вашему вниманию супербой в легчайшем весе. Я не хочу и не могу больше проигрывать, так как у меня и так за плечами два поражения. Поэтому я настроен только на победу. Сейчас я голоден к боям и очень мотивирован, поэтому хочу побыстрее уже отбиться. Вот я сейчас хожу в новую весовую категорию, и у меня сразу попадается хороший соперник. Это Сергей Морозов из Казахстана. Парень идет э, с профессиональным рекордом 6-0, если не ошибаюсь. Ну, рекорд 6-0 с каждым боем. Подготовка моя все серьезнее и серьезнее, потому что мотивация все больше и больше. Есть шанс победить, есть шанс проиграть. Ставки очень велики, и мы готовимся все усерднее и усерднее. Мой будущий соперник – это боевый друг, серьезный парень с серьезным рекордом. Довольно сильный ударник, ну, можно сказать, не только ударник, и он сильный универсал. Просто были у него последние поражения, там, может быть, где-то психологически подгорел, где-то, может, тактика на бой, скорее всего, была неправильная, может, климат где-то сказался. Победить сильнейший в нашем бою, я думаю, кто лучше подготовится, психологически и морально, в первую очередь. Победа в этом бою дает право побиться за чемпионский пояс, поэтому я вдвойне мотивирован, можно сказать, смотрю уже вперед на чемпионский бой. Павел, я готов идти до конца, а ты? Сергей, я уже познал горечь поражения, пришло и твое время. Республику Казахстан. Встречайте Сергей Мороза! При вас магая страх, победит сильнейший Два соперника снесут объятия вновь Мы братья в доме ММА Но здесь ильется кровь Сергей Морозов! Казахстан! Казахстан! С 
Спортсмен в красном гурейджа представляет город Санкт-Петербург. Клуб имени святого благоверного князя Александра Невского. Встречайте! Павел Витру! Казак раненый лежал ей, да под зеленой. Казак раненый Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the bantamweight division. Introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 61.3 kilograms. He stands 168 centimeters tall and has an unbeaten record of six wins and no losses. He is vice champion of Asia in MMA, world MMA champion silver medalist, and master of sports in MMA from Kazakhstan, Sergei Morozov. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 61.3 kilograms. He stands 165 centimeters tall and has a record of 12 wins with only two losses. He is three-time St. Petersburg Mao Thai champion, national Yukata champion, Alexander Nesky Cup winner, and white Rex Grand Prix winner. From Alexander Nesky, Russia, Pavel Vitro. And the referee is about Vajislav Kishilov. What's up, Serino? Good luck. Правила помним, не нарушаем. Работаем три раунда по пять минут. Внимательно слушаем мои команды, делимся активно на протяжении всего боя. Когда скажу стоп, значит стоп. Руки пожали. Судья, 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 время. Готов? Готов? Пусть! 
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the second bantamweight semifinal tournament bout of the evening. In the blue corner, Sergei Morozov. In the red corner, Pavel Vitruk. Well, I gotta tell you this one, I'm gonna be fast and furious. Like we said, the winner of this goes through to the final to fight Vanshuk. There's a lot on the line for both fighters here. On one end, Morozov is undefeated and would like to remain that way. On the other hand, Vitruk went winless in 2015 and is dying to redeem himself after that in an oh, entirely new division. Nice liver kick there. Low kick retaliated. As we mentioned earlier, Vitruk is a bona fide Russian prospect, <laughs> truly talented fighter who went 12 and 0 before losing his last two fights to opponents who really were a lot bigger than him. Yeah, that's the thing. He might have had two losses in a row, but they 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 were good opponents. Vitruk were actually looking sharp. Turned the corner nicely in the clinch. He still trains out of one of the best gyms in, in, in Russia and easily the best gym in St. Petersburg, which is Alexander Nevsky gym. Alexander Nevsky himself, one of the heroes of Russia from the 13th century. Oh, low blow. Vitruk seems to be okay, but let's see what the replay shows. Hard to tell from the angle, really, wasn't it? it? Certainly is. It looked like it could have both grazed the cup and caught the, the inner thigh as well, but very difficult to tell. Morozov apologizes, clearly unintentional, and the fight resumes. Nice counter there by Morozov over the top. Well, Morozov might be 4-0, but he's had three of those fights under the M1 banner, which says something for the level of competition he's usually he's usually had. But his last three fights, all three here were here. His most recent win was against quite a tough British competitor in Andy Young, which is really, is really an impressive way to lead yourself into the bantamweight division. The thing is, Andy Young went back home to Ireland, and, and he won two championship belts after this fight with him. So, you know, it just goes to show how good uh, Morozov is. Exactly. But I think uh, Vitruk in the latter second round, early third round, I think he'll have you know, pushed the pace a little bit more. Morozov is not used to that kind of pressure where I think Vitruk is because of the fights he's had. You know, he's been in some wars. He certainly has. You Let's can see if Morozov can truly match that experience that Vitruk will bring to the table here. So far, so good. This is an even matchup. So it far. is, exactly, yeah. That's why I'm thinking the latter rounds would benefit Vitruk. Less than two minutes to go in the opening round. Vitruk landing some nice leg kicks. And you can tell he's been in the gym for a long time. Have you seen the, the state of uh, Vitruk's nose? <laughs> Bent sideways, it seems. Taking quite a bit of damage to his face over the years. Oh, nice right hand. Very nice combination there. Nice count. I like the way he just steps to one side and throws that left hook, Morozov. You know, we're talking about the last fight where the opponent keeps backing off. You've got to be really good with your hands when you're backing off. Well, Morozov has proven this. Although he's backing off, his hands are connecting the good. Grabs a single, but takes a, a right hand for his trouble. Can he finish him off? Nice 
nice knee to the body. He's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's still grabbing on. Oh, he's down again. This is the victory of that we know. Nice knee to the body. Perfectly legal. Veteran's landing strike after strike here. Each one of them are on the bell. Saved by the bell there for Morozov. Crowd going wild right there. The action that was missing from the opening semi-final is Whoa, definitely not missing here. Do you know what? He, he got dropped three times there. I don't think one minute rest in between will be enough to clear his head. But wow. I mean, here we go with the replay. Spinner back, fist missed. You know, it was, it was really level up until the point where he rocks him. Nice uppercut right hand there, and this is the one that wobbled him. That is the first one right there, it's a combination. There we go. I really love that Vitro mixed it up, body head, body head, knee to body, I love that. That's the experience of this guy. Calm and collected in his corner, listening to the advice of his cornerman. Well, let's see if Morozov comes out very tentative. You normally find when they're being rocked like that, they don't want to give them more trouble. And here we go. And he looks nice and light on his feet. So he's just going to go for that chin. Working the body. The knees are beautiful. Nice takedown. It's exactly what I wanted. Very forceful, but managed to get it in the end. As he wrenched Vitruk all the way down to the ground. He's in a good position, good half guard position. Vitruk stopping what punishment he can. He crunched up against one of the corners of the rage. Quite an odd position for him to be moving from, too. Well, if he's going to wall walk, it's one of the better positions to be in, because at least you've got a wide surface there. He's trying to get back to his feet using the, the corner post. And he's left it up with just a little bit. His back is now flush against it. Well, Samara's off trying to pull the legs out, pull the hips back. Morozov wants payback time, doesn't he? Control, control, держи ногой, вот, вот. Oh, he's mounted. He's mounted. Well, what a comeback here from Morozov. He rocked like that at the end of the first round, and now he's got mount position. But for how long? Oh, he's still got it. He's got the fast now. Can he get those hooks in? He's got one. Oh, well done. Back to his feet. Oh, he went for a single, went for a switch. 
He gets it, beautiful work. The crowd cheering them on. Cheering the Russian on against the Kazakh. Knees to the inner thigh. Kaivitra <laughs> stomps to the same foot. Trying to weaken Morozov's back leg. My apologies, his lead leg. Oh, nicely done. Another take. Back. Super fast as well. Vitro actually has his mouth open, breathing from his mouth. Do you know what? I thought that I thought it would have been the other way around. I thought Morozov would have been the one tight at the end of the second. And Vitro going strong. The tie could be turning. Well, it looks like this bantamweight tournament's full of surprises, Ian. Less than a minute to go in the second round. Well, Vitro needs to keep his distance. Try and work on that striking ability that he has. Morozov still full of energy. Vitro needs to be careful. He's rushing in a little bit. He's looking for the knockout, but he's stepping in with it. He does not need to be taken down again because he's going to lose his round. Oh, now we say it. So you say it, so it happens here. Well, one apiece, I think, now, man. What better way to start the third round? Well, at least for the viewer. I'm sure the fighters would, ha would like it otherwise. <laughs> The of celebrities here tonight, Ian, as well. We've got Olympic champions. We've got Olympic champions here. We've got actors, actresses. Everyone coming out to see one of M1 Global's best cards in quite a while. Well, like we were saying, this being a, a semi-final, when it goes through to the final, this is one of the main reasons why they're having it on a different event. Can you imagine fighting again after this? You know, you're just too tired. The, the, the excitement is gone as well because they're so tired when they're fighting. It's like a better idea to do it on a different day. That adrenaline dump in itself will just take it out of you there. The only sorts of validation they'll have is knowing that, that their opponents will also have gone through a 15 minutes war of sorts. Well, sign of respect. This is the third and final round. This is the decider. Like I say, I've been wrong in the past, but normally I'm right. I think that's one round each. Morozov is nice and light on his feet, look. Oh, look how fast that shot was. He missed it, but that was fast. Vitruk was ready for that one, though. Was not imagining he had started that third and final round on his back. That would not have been a good way to go. Shaking his arms out as Vitruk. But he's still become the reactionary fighter. In the, in the first round, he was the aggressor. Instead, now, he's in the defensive position. It's, it's, it's an odd uh, momentum shift. Especially considering he's the more, he's the more experienced fighter. Well, like I say, I, I, I've had the pleasure of watching Vitro fight. You know, he might have lost his last two, but I've also seen his wins. Lovely takedown there. Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's all right, my friend. Like I say, I've seen his wins, and you know, no one has dominated him just like like this. It's like it's like a different fighter in there. And he can no longer have the excuse of fighting opponents who are far heavier than him or far bigger than him. Like Max Koga, for instance, was a lot bigger than him when he was moving, when he was ragdolling him late in the fight, the third round. It was just a shock to see Vitro like, lose, especially his first loss, just like that. But you can tell that Max was a big guy. You meet Max outside in the bar, and he's quite a big person. So it's a surprise he could even fight with featherweight. Yes, Vitro is a little bit of trouble here. 
Well, Vitruk still has that knockout power no matter what round it's in and how tight he is. There you go. There you go. Well, nice, a good punch. Nice defense. Oh, several more. Vitruk's feeling it again. He knows he's down. Bleeding from several different places, but it's not stopping him now. Oh, he gets yes. it again! He wobbled him down! Morozov! Morozov doesn't know where he is, he needs to be careful! Oh, another left right! Mitchell's got tunnel vision for that KO now! Oh, back of the head! How is Morozov still standing? Wow! Got just just over two minutes to go in this fight. It's do or die now for both fighters. Vitrick has to break free. Morozov has to get him down on the canvas. And it looks like it's... Oh! He going down, but not in the right position. Pivotal moment in this fight. Pivotal, that transition was. Well, like I said, I thought Vitruk would come strong in the latter second, possibly the third. But after Morozov rallied in the second round, Vitruk managed to overcome that in the third round and showed up. Great ground and pound. Oh, strikes an even better ground and pound right now. Body shots on the head. That was half guard. I thought he was going to step over to mount there. It looked like it to me too. He looked like he might still do it. No, he's going for knees instead. Nice body head. Trying to pass. Precise. Every shot has got power. Needs to watch his balance. Great work by Morozov. Good defense. Well, this is a phenomenally matched fight. Yeah, these are two evenly matched fighters despite the, the, the difference in their record, despite the difference in experience. One way or another, I guarantee, I guarantee Banchuk is watching this fight right now and he must be thinking, what do I have to do to put Morozov away? And what do I have to do to finish Vitruk? Because both guys, they refuse to go down. And you can hear the crowd, ladies and gentlemen, they're really enjoying this one. Well, Ian, well, the key thing tonight was that the Bantamweights put on a show. That's exactly what they had to do to prove that this division... And that's what everyone wanted. That's what they wanted. You know, they wanted to prove to the crowd that the Bantamweights are here to stay. I and mean, it looks like they will be. Ten seconds left to go. All on the line here. Everything. A few more shots from Vitro. Morozov has got a chin of steel. And now we have a what a war. The crowd are on their feet. Notable Russian actor Sergei Paduk. <laughs> Judges are going to render their decision, and we shall find out momentarily who will face Vitaly Branchuk in the Bantamweight Tournament Final. The winner will be crowned the inaugural bantamweight champion, the first in M1 Global's history. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. In the red corner, Pavel Vitruk! Pavel Vitruk, St. Petersburg, Russia! Pavel Vitruk, Club Alexander Nevsky, our applause. Сергею Морозову, нашим братьям из Казахстана.
Паша, ну сегодня ты победитель, наконец-то ты победитель. Молодец, давайте еще раз поздравим с этой яркой победой. Павел и друг. Ну что скажешь? Хочу сказать спасибо всем, кто здесь собрался. Лично при мне мой друг Владимир пригласил очень много людей. Наверное, пол стадиона. Поэтому большое вам спасибо, что пришли, поддержали меня. Большое спасибо моим тренерам. Это Эдуарду Владимировичу Шрабоку, Игорю Александровичу Исайкин. Всем, кто мне помогал, кто верил в меня, молился. Всем, кто поддерживал, кто был здесь, и никто был за телевизионными экранами или где-то еще. Большое всем спасибо. Спасибо большое, что организовали такой турнир где собрались хорошие бойцы. Вот. Паш, спасибо огромное. Что, грустный такой? Тяжелый бой был. Сергей Обов, Морозову большое спасибо. Показали прекрасный бой с ним. Вот. Без него бы я ничего бы не смог сделать, поэтому ему поклон. Большое всем спасибо. Молодец, с победой. Поздравляем всю твою команду. Клуб Александр Невский, Санкт-Петербург, Россия!